We are going to see one more example on the very important topic of call by value, and again, it will have to do with references. But this time, we are going to use an array. We will pass an array to a method. But if you remember, arrays are actually references to objects. So this is to clarify the point that Java is a call by value language, no matter what we pass, primitive type variables or reference variables. It is not a pass by reference as other languages are. Let's take a look at this wonderful class named Danger. And the name should actually already warn us that something not very positive is going to happen. We have already executed the program in the Java Visualizer up to a point, the point that nothing really interesting happens. Uh, let's take a look at the main method, the program itself. What do we do? We declare uh, an array called x. It is an integer array, an int array. And we initialize it uh, to a single value. So this is a very, very simple array that only contains one int. And on line 12, we just go and we print the value of the single element that the array has. Uh, as you can see, the picture here, uh, x is an array variable. It's a reference uh, variable. And it references an array of a single element whose value is 42. And what is printed on the screen due to the statement at line 12 uh, is 42. That's the program output. Excellent. Now we go and we invoke the method modify. A couple of things to notice here. First of all, we just uh, invoke this method by using its name. This is something unusual from the main method. We usually first create an object and then we invoke the method that we want through that object. However, notice that the modify method, which is in the same class, is a static method. And since main is static itself, one static method can call the other static method without the need of any objects. So we go ahead and we call modify, we provide as argument the value of x. What is the value of x? x is a reference, its value is this array, the memory location where this array is stored. Great. So let's go and find out what happens uh, when the method runs. The method has one parameter, a, the value of x, the value of the argument is copied and becomes the value of the parameter. In other words, a now references the same object. When A changes the element of the array that it references, we will see this change in one moment, the value of the single element of the array becomes minus 1. Now, since A and X are referencing exactly the same object, that also has an effect to X of 0, as we will see in a little bit when we print that value in the main method. On the other hand, when we change the variable, when we change where A references, that will have no impact on X. All we say is we no longer want uh, A to reference that object. We want it to become now. Great. However, X still references the object that was referencing even before the call. This is something that the method cannot change. It cannot change where X references. It can only change the object that x references. So then when we go and we print the value of x back into our program, no surprises here, it will print the value minus 1, because the array has been changed from the method. 